We're reading Matthew 15, beginning in verse uh, 22. And it says, And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Bow your heads with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to say thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for all the mothers, those who are here and those who are passed on. Lord, we thank you because mothers intercede for their children at all times, no matter what's going on. And Lord, we pray for those mothers there, God, that are going on. We pray that they made it in. And we pray that they left their legacy here and that we that are here will carry on. And teach our children, dear God, to fear God and love God and to do what is right. Bless us, we pray, in Jesus' name, amen. In that chapter, what got me was that the woman was not given a name. They call her the Canaanite woman. Do you have the scripture? Then you know that I'm telling the truth. But over in Mark's, Mark called her a Greek woman. Anybody um, read that? Anybody read that? If you look in the, um, the chapter there at Matthew 15, 22, it will give you the chapter in Mark where she's called a Greek woman. Still not given a name, but woman. And the Lord laid on my heart that it doesn't matter what your name is. Did you hear what I said? It does not matter what your name is. What mattered is that this woman saw and she was focused on what she wanted. She was focused on her child because her child was demon possessed. And when she went looking for help, she stayed focused. So today I'm asking, are you focused on what really matters? Because if you're not focused on what really matters, then you're not going to get what you need. And you see, because they did not name her or give her no name, God is saying that it don't matter what your name is. But what matter is that she was blessed because she stayed focused. She, no matter what the disciples or nobody else was saying, she stayed focused because she knew what she wanted. The reason why we don't get what we want from God sometimes is because we're not focused. We let all kind of distractions come about and distractions will take you away from your blessings. Sometimes we are distracted by the things of the world. But this woman was not distracted even when God said that he could not give her what she was asking for at that time because he, had, he said he had to give he said, even the doves. She said, even the doves um, get the crumbs from the table. But see, he didn't literally call her a dog. But he was letting her know that he was there for the people of Israel. See, she was a Gentile. And she was going to come later. But because she was persistent, she stayed focused. She didn't get distracted by the things of the world. She didn't get distracted by what the disciple was saying. Because they said, send her away. But she kept her eye on God because she had something that she wanted to get from God and she needed this blessing and she was going to let nothing come in her way. 
Are you letting something come in your way today? You know what? Some of us get so distracted by clothes, things, fine cars. And we get so dressed up. We get so I want and I need that we forgot to teach our children to stay focused on God. Stay focused on your homework. Stay focused on what you need to get from God. Because God is letting us know that your name don't matter. Your education don't matter. He did not tell us the woman was from, graduated from any sophisticated college. He didn't tell us that she had a degree in this or that she was from this place or that place. He did not make no big distinction. But he said because of your faith, because of her faith, she got what she wanted. Are you teaching your children about faith? Are you teaching them about God? Are you letting them know that they got to stay focused? Some of our parents are not focused. In the, um, the airport, when I was with Sister Davis, a lady handed me the paper, and it had in there that children are not going to church like they used to. Children are going away from the church. And that's the woman's job, the now, the man also, I know, but if you don't train them, if you don't let them be focused on what, what is important, not the iPod, not the internet, not the fine kind of shoes to wear, name brands, the baggy pants, you got to let them know what is important in today's world. Because in that paper, they said the children, 60% of the children Say they go to church sometime. They ask them were they a Christian and they were kind of lukewarm. They said, well, I go sometime. 